Hi, this is Paul Bratby and this is a very, very simple overview of the MotiveWay version of the x Brad Elgo. Uh, on the chart here, this is the five minute chart for gold, just recently made on another platform for um, Forex. This is gold futures. Uh, it could be gold CFDs as well, doesn't really matter. Uh, the main thing is, uh, this is the European morning here. We got this resistance so So we're coming into the European afternoon. We had a little six star buy expert algo going into there. Nice little trade. And again, using the, the EMA cloud, which is a little add on that I'd like to use. Uh, and I'll put a link into the description this. Uh, it keeps us in the trade and keeps us pushing at that resistance zone. You know, these multiple attempts tells you to get out. Okay, very, very simple. So not a big trade there. But then we have to look at further on in the day. We get a five star buy here, but we're going to go we're going to go long into uh, resistance. So there's not enough risk to reward to there. We get a six star buy here again, going long into resistance. No good. We come back down. We push back up. We get another six star buy here. We've got a good resistance zone. So our entry is just above the resistance zone. Okay. Eventually it pushes through. And now we're at the next resistance zone. One of the things I like to use this little EMA cloud for is actually helping to me to manage that trade. With the, the moment the EMA cloud's on 21, but I can change that. I can change that to 13 to be really aggressive, as you can see there. So if it breaks the bottom of the EMA cloud, then I'll take my profit. At this moment in time, what it's doing is allowing you room to push through this resistance zone because you can't look right. All you can say is with a six star buy, it's the highest probability expert algo signal. Sensible entry strategies say go long above this resistance zone because you've got that expert algo signal there. That's your entry. Then using this little EMA cloud here, all we're doing is just tracking this pullback, find support even on this aggressive 13 EMA here on the cloud. Uh, and now what it's trying to do is push through this resistance zone. So this, this, you know, this is quite a few, t a few ticks at 18.10 to 18.60. That's 60 ticks. Uh, that's a good trade. That's $600 per one contract. So again, very, very simple. Expert Algo takes all of that noise off the chart. 12 points of control for a six star buy. So that means there's a hell of a lot going right to actually print that. But then you still got to do just a little bit of work. You've got to make sure you're not going to go short into support if it's a, a short trade or long into resistance. Just having that basic knowledge. You'll see you've got two signals here, five and a six star. We pull back down and then we get another six star. This thing really wants to go up. But again, that signal candle, usually we look for entries just above the single signal candle there um, on the next candle. But it does pull back a little bit. But eventually we break that resistance and that's when it goes because these look for uh, real you know, 12 points of control to give you that potential that momentum is going to turn. It's going to go up. Obviously, there's, there's decision points uh, during the previous sessions that are going to cause resistance and support. But in the most case, once you get one, two, three lots of these signals, the momentum's there. It's going to go. You just need to be sensible with that entry. And then this little add-on that we've got, this little EMA cloud. It's not part of the expert algo, but it's just a, it's just a little uh, add-on here with the EMA cloud. Really good for managing this trade. Hopefully that helps. The MotiveWave version of the expert algo.